Welcome back to the Convection Connection series. Today, in episode number seven, we'll talk about convection in the ocean. We've already learned that hot and cold air move around in a process called convection. Remember that convection happens any time we have fluids of different densities. The most dense fluid will sink because of gravity, and the least dense fluid will rise. What happens in the ocean? Some of you may have gone swimming in the ocean and noticed a difference from swimming in a pool or a lake or a river. You can float more easily in the sea than in a freshwater lake. This is because the salty seawater is more dense. In the Dead Sea, located between the countries of Israel and Jordan, the water is so salty that people can float and swim very easily. We're going to talk about what happens in the oceans with convection. Right. First of all, we have to think about what we have in the oceans. We have some water. water lots of water. Some of it is more fresh, like this beaker over here, which doesn't have any salt in it. It's just pure water. And some of the water in the oceans is very salty, like this beaker over here. Mm -hmm. And this water is actually so salty, it's more like the Dead Sea in Israel. All right. Now, what is this? That's a special neutral density sphere, which is going to float in the beaker. Try it in this fresh water. Right, put it in the fresh water, and it's under the surface, but it's suspended. It's not touching the bottom there. Right, it's floating about halfway up the beaker. All right. Now, if we put it in the salt water, oh, no problem. That thing's floating. Look at that. So nothing happened to the sphere. What do you think is the difference between the water? Must be the density of the salt water holding, right. holding that sphere up there like that. But how does this explain convection in the oceans? Well, now we're going to look at our special fluorescein tank demo and see what happens there. To help understand convection in the ocean, we'll look at this tank. The blue colored water in the top is salty water. When we put it on top of the fresh water, it's much more dense, so it falls to the bottom. The same thing happens in the ocean. The cold, salty water in the North Atlantic is much more dense than the warm fresh water, and it sinks to the bottom of the ocean. Fresh water moves in to take its place, setting up convection currents. Now, ocean convection is very, very slow. That round trip around the world from the North Atlantic all the way past Africa, South America, and Antarctica takes about a thousand years. I can tell you firsthand about floating in a dense, salty body of water because that was a picture of me floating in the Dead Sea. Next time on the Convection Connection, in Episode 8, we'll talk about convection in the Earth.